Right, so what we're gonna do here is actually called a voltage drop test. And there's a couple things we need to talk about before we start. Uh, the first thing is this test has to be done with the engine cranking, but we don't want the engine to start. So the first thing you need to try is holding the gas pedal all the way down to the floorboard and crank the engine. And if your engine doesn't start, then you're in good shape. But if your engine does start when you do that, then we're gonna have to disable the uh, fuel system by either pulling the relay or the fuse. So another thing you need to worry about is how your leads are hooked up. On this side, you need to make sure your lead is hooked to the strap and not the battery post. On this side, you need to make sure your lead is hooked to the cable and not the bolt. Okay, so I followed our negative battery lead and this is where it hooks up to the engine block and grounds. And as Francie said, I have the lead connected to the cable and not the bolt. And up on top of the truck, I have the lead hooked to the cable and not the post. So right now we have a reading of zero, which is normal because there's no power going to the cable. Now I'm gonna go to the inside of the truck and hold the gas pedal all the way to the floor and crank the engine. So as you saw, we only got 200 millivolts, which is crazy because these cables look terrible. Anything over 500 millivolts would be a failing test. However, both of our cables tested at 200 millivolts. So even though both of our cables passed, we decided to go ahead and replace them to get rid of these temporary ends. So, if you found this video helpful, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time!